Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be doing DIY robots. Uh, so let's get going. All right, so I got this idea from another YouTuber. I found her actually on Google Images when I typed in like, uh, I think I typed in uh, elementary school uh, remote art projects and that came up. And uh, I clicked on one of her videos, looks pretty interesting, and I figured we'd probably try to do the same thing. So what we're gonna need is uh, a piece of paper and something to draw with. And as always, if you wanna color it, uh, coloring is always optional, but it makes your picture way much better. But let's get going. So I'm gonna hold my paper horizontally, like you see right here. And uh, for you guys at home that wants to see this a little better on the screen, uh, I'm gonna do it in Sharpie instead. So uh, how I do suggest you guys do this in pencil first. That way if you ever make a mistake or you wanna edit something, that we can erase it. Um, but otherwise, I'm gonna go straight with marker instead. Um, I'm gonna do two robots. I'm gonna do two different styles. I'm gonna go more like mechanical and then one more organic, like it has like more advanced features. Kind of like how Wally -E is, that movie Wally. -E. <laughs> so like there's like one really advanced robot and one like really old, not so well built robot. And we'll go from there. So um, what I'm thinking about when I think of robots is uh, two things. So the first one I'm assuming would be like an old school television set for the head. So I'm just gonna draw a screen here. And then I'll draw the inner screen right here. And then I'm assuming his face will be digitized. Um, so I'm gonna do like maybe like lines like that. And then he's gonna have a smile that has a representation of the old school uh, pixels like that and he's kind of smiling that'd be pretty cool cool uh he will be a tube tv kind of like this so more old school kind of goes back a little bit further like that i'll have antennas one right here one right there old school i'll make it a little bit cuter with little circles on top um what i'm thinking for a neck is mainly kind of ones like spiralized cylinders like that and then the body will be a little bit blocky like a regular robot. Um, so I'm gonna go like this and so on. So I'm kind of doing like a three dimensional shape. You don't have to, you can do just regular shapes such as square, circle, rectangle. Um, or you can go like kind of more three dimensional like me. doesn't matter to me. And then maybe I'll just do, speaking of basic shapes, maybe I'll do basic shapes for his buttons. So why don't I do like a nice big button in the middle and then I'll let it protrude out a tad bit. And then maybe some rectangles on the side to represent some other options here. Be kind of cool, three. Um, I forgot to do arm over there. Um, tell you what, why don't I do, hmm. I really want him to be really interesting. Why don't I do like kind of a, let's see, this is hard to do without having a pencil on me. Um, how about something like this where it kind of connects to a disc? And that way this disc can connect to a wheel, just like so. Oh, drop my <laughs> marker here. And then this wheel's kind of like more jagged. It's more of a, more of a jagged look of a wheel. There we go. That was pretty cool, huh? Sweet. Um, I will add arms. I, just, I decided to do that anyways. And then as an old school robot, I will create the claws instead. There we go. And another claw on the other side. How do I do this without screwing up my drawing? I'll go this direction. That way the, <laughs> the divine line can uh, get hidden with the stripes there. All right, so that's my first robot. Uh, I'm gonna do my next robot now. Um, why don't I do something more advanced? So this one will be a little bit of a floater. I will do a nice sphere for a head. Um, they will have an oval shape for the viewfinder, or where you can see, or he, or she. And then I will have oval eyes like this. I will black out the area in the background. So I'm getting, I'm getting kind of inspired by, uh, inspired by, sorry, inspired by uh, that advanced robot from Wally because it's very similar. But I tried to do not as much of a cone shaped dome because I don't want to copy it completely. I want it to be my own type of robot. All right, there we go. There. Pretty cool robot. All right, why don't I do some more um, 
more shapes here. His head will be floating on. Body looks like this. The arms will have spheres as well. Kind of like this. There we are, and then I'll draw the same exact thing on the other side. We'll go like this. Whoop. There we are. And then for the body, I should probably draw like something like this. So it looks like he's floating. That, maybe I'll draw like a little side pocket door on his chest or her chest. There we go. And I think my robots are done for now. Let's move on to coloring. And again, you don't have to color if you don't want to, but I want to because I want to. <laughs> All right, so let's get going. All right, this will have a little screen swirl. He's producing this kind of like mystic mist. Pretty cool like that. All right, so my next robot will be, let's have like some pink tones to it. I think that would be pretty cool. Nice. Nice. All right. Why don't I do two different color arms? One arm that's that color, another arm that's kind of more of a color like this, maybe? That'd be pretty cool, right? All right. The head's gonna be more of a uh, silver. I have a silver. More silver here, here, here. And then the eyes will be, what should I do the eyes? Red, teal, pink. I think I should do my eyes this color. That'd be pretty cool. There we are. Cool. All right, my advanced robot's done. Let's do some coloring on the old school one. All right, I'm gonna do solid black for the screen. I thought about doing like a dark, dark green, but um, I think black will suffice for the back of this um, projection here. Okay, there we are. Nice and simple there. Cool. All right, I think for the actual mouth and eyes, I'll just do simple yellows like that. Now that I think about it, I should have left them white. <laughs> I think that would have more, been more appropriate. Um, I'm gonna do the head this color. Uh, I used to have an old computer this color. It wasn't a Mac, it was an old compact Presario computer. I think it was a gateway, I don't remember. But that's how the computer looked. Weird tan color. Um, let's see. The connection parts will all be silver. So I'll do silver here, silver there, and silver here. And I might as well do silver right here. And then I will make the wheel black. I forgot to do the wheel black. That's what I wanted to do. That way it represents kind of like a tire. I was doing, gonna do gray, but I already did gray already. And it would collide a little bit. There we are. I wanna do a big red button for his uh, his button right here. Nice danger red button. There we are. Uh, and then less dangerous buttons, maybe like green for one right here. Maybe red right here. And then maybe pink for the next one. No, not pink. I'm gonna do blue or something close to blue. Next question right there. Um, let's see. Why don't I do this kind of color? What is this called? This is called periwinkle. <laughs> periwinkle for the claws. Periwinkle for this part right here on the wheel. All right, we have inner wheel left and also his body. Hmm, 
What should we do? Hmm. Let's do like a dull yellow for the bottom part. Yeah, like that. And then we will do like a really mucky brown for the body to represent like it's kind of old and rusty, but still metal. All right, <laughs> this is kind of like the story of Wally and uh, uh, Eve, but um, it's not supposed to be. <laughs> it's supposed to be a nice and interesting robot project where you have to use uh, geometric shapes. But anyways, um, I think my robot project is done. And yeah, that is my two sets of robots. If you guys want to copy it exactly, you guys can. You guys saw how I did it. Otherwise, I highly suggest you do your guys' own. And be as creative as you can. Um, I actually did a robot uh, with second grade, actually. Oh, I forget which second grade class I did it with. But um, it was based off of another book. And it's this one right here. And I forget the, uh, the guy's name, but I think the book was called Unplugged or something. And uh, it was a really cool story about uh, going outside more often and uh, not being on the computer so much. So anyways, uh, there's that robot right there. So anyways, I'll leave this aside right here. And I'll leave this guy right here. And uh, can you guys see those two? Yep. And I'll leave you guys to it. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.